Yo, folks, Coach Simmons here again. This time we're going to look at Alabama A&M. It is their turn to step the game up. It is their turn to come around and have some fun this season. So we sat back and we remember the spring with a kill glass. We remember the bloating and bloating and fun of Coach Maynard. Well, we also remember the whooping that happened 61 to 15. We remember since then, Coach Maynard has been quiet. Secretly building his dynasty. Now, depending on who the quarterback's going to be at the beginning of the game and the start at the end of the game, we're going to see how good Alabama A&M can be. And coming off of the opening week where the SWAT actually got respect from the MEAC a little bit and a little respect in college football because of the on the field play in the first three quarters of FAMU. 9 1 tomorrow or today, whenever you're seeing this, Alabama AM has a chance to solidify they are in a discussion for SWAC East Champs. And to shut up a team down the street in UAB. Now, we know this is a monumental task. But if anybody can do it, it should be Coach Maynard. Think about this real carefully. If FAMU can take North Carolina, a team that is obviously better than UAB, the three quarters, you basically have a neutral field. Even though UAB's at home, they don't sell out their stadium. And you have all your players. And you barely lost the family last year. What you got? Huh? Coach, I don't care who the quarterback is. You brought in over 40 something new players. I don't know how many new secondary help and linebackers you brought in. You have a brand new defense. You considered the offensive guru of the swag. That's the title they gave you. The quarterback whisperer. Former champion. We need you. We need you to actually win this game. I know it's going to be a big battle and the, the, the trash talking in Alabama is going to be monumental before, during, and after this damn game. But ain't no fun if you don't win none, man. You want to put the SWAT and the FCS on their ass? You come out and win this game. Alabama a and comes out and wins this game. It doesn't matter who wins the fam you Jackson State game. You're in the number one position in the SWAT. If that doesn't motivate you, I don't know what else will. I'll say it again. If Alabama A&M wins this game, not keeps it close, but wins, it does not matter who wins Jackson State FAMU. You're in control. And get down to the particulars, you ain't me. Since they have reached out their program and no one was going to the stadium to watch the games, they're losing all their money. They built up. They got more. They can have better D linemen and O linemen than Alabama and M does. Their secondary is fast, but it's not good at covering. This is the time to shine. This is the time to put them players out there, get them boys drafted, take a dub, bring it back home to the swag. Like I said, ain't no fun if you don't win none. <laughs> Coach Simmons, are we watching? I am out. <laughs>